Hello and welcome, I'm Nathan42 and in this video I'm going to talk about AquaSnap. This tool is called AquaSnap. As you can imagine, this is the website for it. So if you need it, go to nogosoftware.com slash product slash AquaSnap. Uh, and what it does is it does these window docking things. Now these are the types of software that I've been looking for. This one and the previous one, uh, Power Toys. Um, with, uh, from when I was using Linux a lot, uh, they kind of had these features built in to some of the to some of the softwares. Uh, this one did not have Windows does not have that built in, but this here is Aqua Snap. So I haven't actually purchased it yet. I've got the free version. Uh, I might purchase it because it does get this. You get this annoying message come up every time you start your PC. Uh, and it's like, yeah, this only works on one screen um, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, there's there, maybe there's a free alternative to this program out there somewhere. I don't know. But, I mean, it is a good software. And uh, even though it is paid, you can, I, I think it is like a probably like a small-time developer. So it would be good to probably help out small business and stuff like that. So if you look on here, you have general. This is just, oh, I don't want to show that icon. That's good. I like that. Okay, that's good. AquaSnap, which is the actual software, is uh, built all around. You have Aqua Stretch, which means you can stretch it to the windows in that similar kind of way. Uh, Aqua Magnet. Um, this allows you to magnet it to the edges of the screens. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. Aqua Glue. Um, what does this one do? This one is a paid feature, so you can't actually use this. Or you can use it for 60 minutes. Resize a window while pressing the control key. Oh, you can move a group of windows around by holding the control key. Um, cool. Uh, there's mouse, hotkeys, hot there's little hotkeys for it. Um, the appearance um, and aqua glass, which allows transparency on your windows and aqua shake. Now, be aware that if you do have this, there's an always on top thing which you can activate. Um, there's a there's a way to do it through the mouse as well, which I should look at in the other one. Control Windows Return stops it. Uh, always on top is the back button. Okay, wow. On the title bar, so if I pressed that there, no. So if I bring this in, no. Interesting, but. I did manage to get this uh, quite annoying thing before. I can't activate it now. I've forgotten how I did it. How I do it. Nah, um, but anyway, uh, the reason I have this one up here is because I want to show you how this one works. So you can have this over here. You can bring this one in. And you're like, oh, I want to put these two together. Oh, look. look, They've magically clicked together. And that is based off of this software. Um, oh. The only thing that I would add is that it doesn't click to the top. I don't know if that's a thing that they're going to add. But you can click it in like that. And that is nice. It's quite satisfying seeing uh, the windows just click together like that. And also, if you were to drag, you can drag it up and it will click to there. But it won't do it to here. It would only do it to solid other windows. So it will only snap to other windows, it won't snap to edges of other windows as projected from the original window. Um, which I think is uh, a feature that you could probably um, really uh, bring some more people in with. I think that's, that, that's uh, one thing that it could do really well. Um, but yeah, I've accidentally uh, activated this uh, always on top thing before and it leaves your window kind of see-through which is a bit annoying and also a bit harder to make it yeah uh, to make it able to be closed and I had no idea what the hell was going on like this feature is on the by default I accidentally enabled it and set it up on my thing and I don't know <laughs> I, yeah I didn't know what the hell was going on so I don't know if I will keep um, aqua tools but I think it is a very, or oh, AcroSnap, sorry. Uh, but I think it is a very useful tool that a lot of people will find very useful. Now this is tiling. 
Um, oh, I should probably test that one. Right, let's just pop these back up. So if I hold, oh, I can go. No, I can't. Uh, <laughs> okay, that one doesn't work for me. Maybe that is. Maybe that's a special one for the uh, for the people who have to pay for it. But if you move up here, you'll see that little marker show up there, and it says it. That it just says that you're going to put this in the top corner, basically. A, a kind of a Windows feature anyway. You can move it across to the side here, and it'll say you're going to move it onto the left side of the screen. And now it takes up the full uh, two 1080p screen worths of uh, real estate that I have of screen real estate that is um, and yeah I think that's basically it to be honest it's a useful tool it is a useful tool it probably could be better uh, if it was uh, well free or I, I guess it is kind of free it it could be better it is good though and it could be probably useful and very helpful for some of you guys out there so that's why I'm saying this so don't forget to subscribe, let me think, comments, this at Nick2 and thanks for watching.